Hit that subscribe button and bell icon so you never miss an update from Neela Bakore Tutorials. In the previous part, we talked about one component of the ecosystem and that was productivity. Now in this part, we'll talk about the second that is decomposition. Basically, decomposition is breakdown of organic matter to release the minerals which are present in it. But when we use the word decomposition, there are many terms which are uh, discussed whenever we talk of this process. Decomposition is an aerobic process. That means the breakdown of this organic matter which is taking place requires oxygen. Now what, uh, what exactly are the stages? How are these things converted from one form to another? So first is the fresh leaves which fall on the ground which undergo decomposition. Now these leaves they undergo partial decomposition to form detritus. This process is known as fragmentation. Fragmentation is breakdown of larger pieces of these leaves or such kind of material into a partially broken down decomposed organic matter that is detritus. This detritus is the one or this is the part which is consumed by animals like earthworms and then it is converted into humus. This process of conversion of detritus into humus is known as humification. So this is the step which is from detritus to humus. We will write about all these uh, structures or the stages which are formed little later. Now humus is further broken down or decomposed to release minerals. That means this process that is conversion of humus into minerals is called mineralization. So here all these minerals are released into the soil or water and now the cycle is going to get completed. So these minerals come into the natural resource and from here again it enters or they enter into the living organisms. So these are various stages or steps which take place when we talk of decomposition. So first is breakdown from bigger pieces into smaller pieces with partial decomposition. Detritus is consumed further breaking down into humus, humus will be further broken down to release these minerals. Now here we'll add two more uh, terms that is catabolism. Catabolism includes all the breakdown reactions. All the breakdown reactions are called catabolism. So here when partial decomposition is taking place, Further decomposition is taking place, breaking down into individual elements or minerals is taking place. These are all catabolic reactions. The second term is leaching. Leaching is actually when these minerals are formed or released by this process of decomposition and when it rains, these minerals, they percolate into the soil and when they reach a little lower level and they find appropriate conditions, they precipitate. So this is precipitation of minerals in soil during percolation. Now if 
these minerals they percolate deep into the soil layer and precipitate precipitate is a solid state so these minerals they become or get converted into a solid and now they become unavailable to the plant because as long as those minerals were there they were absorbed by the plant along with water but if this uh, precipitate now they are in the form of solid salts maybe and they cannot be absorbed by the plant so now this mineral is not available so leaching is actually a harmful process because the mineral content of the soil is actually not available to the plants for its growth now this process of decomposition we have seen what exactly happens there are factors which decide the rate of decomposition the first is the composition composition of this material which is to be decomposed so there are two possibilities it is lignin or cutin rich or it is sugar or nitrogen rich if it is lignin rich the rate of decomposition is going to be very slow and if it is sugar or nitrogen rich it is going to be faster decomposition so composition of detritus or this organic matter which is to be decomposed is going to decide the rate of decomposition the second thing is some external conditions like temperature and moisture temperature because it is a breakdown process and enzymes would be required so there should be optimum temperature which is normally warmer condition if optimum temperature warmer condition is there then the rate of decomposition is going to be faster the enzymes which act are hydrolytic enzymes so moisture has to be there so optimum temperature and if moisture is sufficient then the rate of decomposition is going to be again faster if the temperature is low if it is it's very cold and if the soil is dry then the rate of decomposition is going to be slower because these two conditions are required for the enzymatic activity and the third here itself we have written that it is an aerobic process so if oxygen is available then it is going to be faster and in absence of oxygen the decomposition process is going to be slow so there are factors which would uh, will decide the rate of decomposition now we will also talk about this humus we normally say that if humus is present in the soil then the soil quality is good so what exactly is this humus humus is a dark colored colloidal substance it is resistant to microbial action to microbial action this means microbes will not be able to act on this humus quickly or in other words we can say that this undergoes further decomposition that is this step very very slowly and if humus decomposes further that means it undergoes mineralization at a very slow pace because it is resistant to microbial in uh, 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 microbial action it means it will release minerals at a very slow pace so this is a beneficial property of humus if minerals are released in large quantity then the chances are that they would go deeper into the soil layer as the water seeps and leaching will take place but if minerals are released at a very slow pace because of this property of humus slowly they will be released and slowly they will also be absorbed by the plant so that is why we say when humus is present in the soil the soil quality is very good so it is resistant to microbial uh, action and it releases 
minerals very slowly. So this is humus and this is how the whole decomposition process takes place with the help of microbes. So this is totally dependent on microbes, microbial action and those microbes are known as the decomposers. So this is the second component of our ecosystem. In the next part we will talk about the third that is the energy flow.